In this video, we are going to tell you how to diet but without tracking a single calorie. We are Dan and Mike, and this is Five Minute Fitness, where we try to cram in as much training and nutrition advice into just five of your precious minutes as possible. Yeah. So, how to lose weight without tracking? That's so, a lot of the times when it comes to losing weight, the easiest gold standard way of doing that, in our opinion, is to track your calories somewhat. That requires you to kind of weigh foods, keep an eye on the packages of the foods you're eating, all that sort of stuff. But some people find that a bit of a ball ache. Hmm. Bit of a shit excuse, but they do. Yeah, Some people yeah. do find it a bit of a ball ache. So we're gonna go over how you can lose weight without having to worry about any sort of tracking. Just because you're not tracking something doesn't mean that the calories or the macros don't exist in that food. Yeah. So like when I tell my clients to, to not track for maybe a week or a few days and start to get them a little bit more, dare I say it, mindful about their uh, about their eating. Like it's like that isn't a free for all day just because you're not tracking it. That isn't like, oh my God, yes, I get it, free calories. It's like, no, they still exist. You're just not tracking it in an app. So there are certain things that you could probably do to structure your diet to ensure that you are there or thereabouts with your nutrition. So one of the things that you can do is stock in your fridge with mainly single ingredient foods that are made up of mainly one macronutrient. Mm. And the best two to go with will be protein and carbs. So for example, your protein sources will be the leaner sources. Mm. So things like turkey, um, lean pork, chicken, white fish, egg whites, low fat dairy as your main protein sources. And the reason that they're gonna be your main protein sources is you limit the calories in them from fat, so you could probably have a bit more of them and not have to worry about the calories. Likewise with carbohydrates, you're gonna go with vegetables, you're gonna go with fruits, you're yeah. gonna go with rice, potatoes, things like that. And then I would then stay clear of things like butter, whole eggs, avocados, because you're just adding a lot of calories to your meals. And if you don't track it, you're not gonna know the weight of that. And the weights of those can add up really quickly and add calories on. That's where some people fall short when they're eating clean, but they don't really lose any weight because the, you know, for all intents and purposes, yes, their, their diet is healthy in terms of their food selections. They're having avocado, eggs, oils, nuts, that kind of thing, and go, well, I'm not losing any weight. And those calories within those add up. And I, I used to do that myself. I used to eat clean, but I've got a huge fucking appetite. Dark chocolate. Yeah, so, so <laughs> I would... I, <laughs> Yeah. Clean eaters do that, they just they don't understand where they're going wrong because they're eating healthy food. This is the problem is that just because a food is healthy doesn't mean the calories don't count. So you still have to be aware of the fat intake, in my opinion, of your of your overall diet because that's the one that racks up really, really quickly. It's not to say that you won't be able to enjoy some of the foods yeah. you love, like chocolate and a bit of cake. You just have to be very mindful of how many calories are gonna be in that and how often you're doing that. And um, what you don't wanna do is have like a cheat day where you just have a day where you yeah. eat whatever you want of all that food because you're gonna go over your calories, you're then not gonna be in a in a calorie deficit for the week and you're gonna be in trouble. So the other thing you need to do is probably keep an eye on how many times a day you're gonna eat. Yeah. So with my clients who are unable to say track calories, for uh, for example, I have clients who are in the military, who work on oil rigs, who have their food sort of catered in, in like canteens and things. What I tend to, to say to them is go for the leanest portion of protein there. So again, what Dan's just said, stick, keep your protein pretty, pretty lean, try to limit fat. And what I would do if you're going to want to lose weight without training calories, I, was, I would probably tend to limit your your carbohydrates as well. So again, what you would be doing is having lean protein and filling your, your plate with, with green veg to, to keep you satisfied, obviously keeping hydration in, keeping water in, keeping you full. All of those are going to be beneficial when not tracking food, because if you're not tracking food, you, you are essentially guessing. So helping yourself stay full is going to limit your calories by default, right? Yeah, and I just think it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder without tracking um, your calories, without tracking your macronutrients to understand roughly where you're at with things. You have to be very in tune with your own hunger signals and often sometimes if you're deeper into a diet, ignoring them because you're going to be hungry if you're dieting at some point and you're going to have to understand that. And I think with tracking, it's a little bit easier to know how much you've got left in the day and things like that. So it's definitely for the more advanced dieter. Once you've tracked a little bit and you're aware of the calories in foods and you're aware of macronutrients are in foods. When you're just starting out, tracking can be really eye-opening. Yeah. So even if you're one of those people that's like, oh, it's a bit time consuming, it's not. Once you get in the habit of it, it's just that that first week or two, it does take a little bit more time to get used to it. But once you get used to it, it takes about 30 seconds a meal. Just because you're not tracking the calories doesn't mean they don't count. So remember that. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Leave us a little comment. Let us know what other videos you want us to see, to see us do in the future even. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time. We'll see you later. Mm.